In this video, we'll cover how to order press printed wall calendars in Bay Rose Complete. If you're new to ordering products using Bay Rose Complete, you may want to watch the quick start tutorial that can be found on our website. Once you've logged in, open the catalogs menu at the top of the products palette and choose press printed cards, calendars, and products. Click on the calendars tab at the top of the products palette. If you're on a Mac and the Calendars tab is not immediately visible, click the right arrow button to switch to the next tab. With Calendars selected, click the Monthly Calendars tab for the calendar year you wish to order. Now you can choose the type of calendar from the tabs below. In this example, we'll be ordering an 11 by 17 wire-bound calendar. Select the thumbnail for the cover page to make it active in the layout area. Click the Add Image Folder button in the Image Browser Film Strip in the lower left corner of the screen. Then navigate to the folder of photos on your computer that you want to use for your calendar. The first step is to add an image for the calendar cover. Drag a photo from the Image Browser into the layout area. Click in the image to show the editing tools which you can use to adjust the size, rotation, and position of the image until you have it just the way you want. Next, customize the available text fields on the calendar cover. Click inside a text box to enter the text that you want in that text field. In the Product Options panel, you can specify the color, style, and font for each text field. If you choose a font that is not installed on your computer, you will not see the actual font displayed in the layout area. However, you can see a sample of how the font will appear in the Fonts menu. While you're still working in the Product Options panel, Take a moment to choose the paper surfaces for the calendar. The paper option that you specify here will apply to the entire calendar. When you're done with the cover, click the Add to Cart button below the Layout area. Then, in the Products palette, click the January thumbnail. The default behavior will be to show the same image as in the previous page, so drag in a new image for that month and edit the size, placement, and position if necessary. As with many of our other photo products, you can also apply some basic photo styling to images in the Options palette, such as black and white and sepia. On some calendar styles, such as the one shown here, there may be additional image nodes that you can use to add smaller images to the calendar page. Drag images into these smaller nodes just as you would with the larger ones. The same editing capabilities for zoom, placement, and rotation can also be applied. When you're done with the January page, click Add to Cart and then choose the next month thumbnail from the Products palette. Some calendar styles may also let you change the color of the month and year as well as the background color for the entire page. Be sure to check the Product Options palette for the options that are available for each calendar style. Options need to be set for each page and remember to click the Add to Cart button after finishing a page. If you have set options for a page, they will be carried over to the next page, so if you have chosen a special color for a particular month, you may need to change this for the other pages. After you have finished placing images in all of the calendar pages and have added each one to your order, click the View Cart button for a summary of the order. Here you can see thumbnails of each page that you've created, as well as a list of what the page options are. In this example, the December page was accidentally added twice, so to remove it we'll click the Delete button for that page, and then click again to remove it from the order. To edit an item, click the Edit button for a specific calendar page, and you'll be returned to the main product layout screen. After making changes to the page, be sure to click the Save button to update those changes into the order. Click View Cart again to return to the Order Summary page, and then click Complete and Send Order, or Save for Later if you want to submit the order at another time. If you have created your own custom calendar page designs in Photoshop or another program, select the Your Design Calendars tab and choose the size calendar you want to order. Start with a thumbnail for the cover page and drag an image onto the layout. Then choose the paper surface options for the entire calendar. When you're done with the cover, be sure to click the Add to Cart button. Next, click the Month Product thumbnail and add an image for January. 
After you add each image, you need to click the Add to Cart button to ensure that the page is added to the order. The custom designs that you create need to be the same size as the calendar page you're ordering and should be saved at a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. As you add images to the different calendar pages, the thumbnails will display a check mark to show that they've been placed in the product layout and then a shopping cart icon once that image has been added to the order. After you have created all the pages for the calendar and have added them to the order, click the View Cart button to review the details of the calendar and complete the order. If you have any questions or get stuck at any point in the ordering process, please do not hesitate to contact us by emailing support at bayphoto.com. We can also be reached at our toll-free number or via a live chat session on our website. We're here for you.